The article discusses the economic factors of production, including land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship, which contribute to low production rates, lengthy lead times, and cost overruns in defense procurement, particularly in shipbuilding. The U.S. has 12,000 miles of coastline, so the land factor of economic production does not play a significant role in the shipbuilding issue. Capital is a key factor in the shipbuilding issue, as it requires specialized equipment across multiple locations. The current U.S. production capacity for naval ships stagnates due to neglect of updating and maintaining aging infrastructure. The end of the Cold War and the War on Terror impacted defense budgets, causing excess capacity due to a lack of orders. Shipyards closed due to a lack of work, and manufacturers struggled to maintain their existing facilities. The U.S. Navy and Congress are considering increasing ship construction infrastructure through a government program, which would eliminate the need for defense manufacturers to take out loans or issue debt to create new facilities. The U.S. government would then lease these facilities to private companies, similar to how the U.S. Army manages the production of traditional ammunition. This would incur additional government expenses in the future, but would resolve the issue of private companies needing to maintain facilities when future demand is uncertain. The decline in the demand for naval ships and capital resources has led to a decline in the labor factor of production, resulting in the layoff of skilled workers. The Navy and defense contractors are unable to substitute civilian ship manufacturers' laborers for those in the naval sector, resulting in higher labor costs. To address this issue, the Navy and Congress are exploring training and incentive programs to attract labor to shipbuilding, including attracting experienced workers from other shipbuilding industries or related industries. Another option is increasing legal immigration for foreigners with the necessary skill set and experience, which could alleviate some labor issues. However, security clearances for these workers are a significant concern. Entrepreneurship is also being explored, including using robotics in manufacturing, diversified manufacturing, creating smaller warships with highly specialized capabilities, and autonomous warships. However, a shrinking navy and a shift in defense priorities have limited the ship manufacturing industrial base's production capacity over decades. To address the capacity issue and rising costs, investments in infrastructure, new facilities, and training a workforce are needed. The U.S. will need time to significantly increase its production capacity and lag behind China for the foreseeable future.